Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Uh, previously we, uh, we studied two problems, two questions related to block diagram reduction and finding out the overall transfer function of a system, a complicated system involving many summers and blocks. So this is the third question uh, related to block diagram reduction. So I would request you all to please uh, see the video related to the rules of block diagram reduction and those two questions, the question uh, one and two related to block diagram reduction. So uh, and after that you watch this question so that you understand it in a better way. Okay. So here it is so we have been given a system a complex system which has uh, many summer blocks and uh, forward path uh, transfer function blocks g1 g2 g3 and feedback feedback blocks h1 and h2 which are connected in the way which is given here and we have to find out the overall transfer function cs by rs with the help of block diagram reduction okay so let us solve it now as I stated in the while solving the previous two questions, you have to find a point, you have to pick a spot where you can apply the block diagram reduction rules. So in order to do that, you have to be crystal clear about how to apply those rules and you have to apply the rules in a way that shortens, that minimizes the task of block diagram reduction okay so now here this connection here which is given it is nothing but this unity feedback so we in order to make it less complicated what we can do is that this is a unity feedback connection actually between this output of g3 and this summer so we can connect it in this way so that it would be easy for us. It is actually this. This is this. The connection is actually this. It was connected in this way to make it look complicated but is not. So this is a unity feedback connection. Now, if we take this takeoff point here it would be easy for us okay if we take this takeoff point here okay so let us just uh, so that we have space let us just shift it here okay we have to shift this takeoff point here this takeoff point here okay now we the rule related to shifting of our takeoff point it is it stays that the overall signal should stay the same let us say we have a transfer function block this okay the input signal is a so the output will be a into g the takeoff point is here the value if we wish to shift the takeoff point here at this point the signal value should not change it means the value of the signal here is a so if we shift this takeoff point from here to here the signal should remain a so in order to do that what we have to do is that we have to use a 1 by g block the reciprocal of the gain so in that case it will be a g into 1 by g which will be a so we'll get the same signal so here also in order to do that in order to shift this takeoff point from here to here we have to use there is no need to curl this up we have to use a 1 by g3 block Okay, we have to use a 
1 by g3 block okay so now these sh1 and 1 by g3 they are connected in cascade so they should be multiplied together it will become h1 by g3 okay 1 by g3 and h1 are connected in cascade so blocks connected in cascade are multiplied together so it will be h1 by g3 okay now this is a classic negative feedback connection okay it is a classic negative unity feedback connection where the feedback path gain is 1 so it will be g3 by 1 plus g3 the overall this block this summer and this block can be replaced by the transfer function g3 by 1 plus g3 okay so we can replace this with that block g3 by 1 plus g3 this block we can replace it with okay now this g2 and this g3 by 1 plus g3 they are connected in cascade so this will be multiplied so uh, we just remove it from here and multiply it here g2 it is g2 g3 by 1 plus g3 now here this summing point it has three inputs okay plus plus minus so here we will have to split this summer into two parts we will have to split this summer into two parts okay we have to split this summer into two parts i have already discussed about the splitting of a summer and the rules of basic block diagram reduction and in the previous two questions so i will uh, skip that uh, explanation part and will directly split the summer okay so here it will be Okay. Plus minus. Okay. This we have split the summer into two parts. Now here this is a there are two forward paths. Okay. There are two forward paths. One forward path has a gain of G1, another forward path it has a gain of unity this gain is 1 because there is no block here so we can eliminate this entire thing as a single block having gain 1 plus g1 okay we can eliminate this entire thing with 1 plus g1 in the rules of block diagram reduction in that video i have discussed this rule in detail okay so you please watch out that video okay you watch that video completely where I've discussed the 14 rules of block diagram reduction so here we can replace this entire thing with 1 plus g1 okay we can write it as 1 plus g1 okay now this here is again a classic negative feedback connection you see this is the forward path gain g2 g3 by 1 plus g3 and h1 by g3 is the feedback path gain 
it is a classic negative feedback closed loop connection okay so if we call this as g and this as h okay g2 g3 by 1 plus g3 as g okay let us consider this and here h1 by g3 as h so the overall transfer function of this system okay from this summer to this takeoff point this will be g by 1 plus g h okay g by 1 plus g h okay so let us do that Okay, so it will be G2, G3 by 1 plus G3 plus H1, G2. Okay, the denominator it will get cancelled out, the common denominator it will get cancelled out. Okay, this G by 1 plus G H is equal to this, the common denominator, it got cancelled out. Okay, now, again, these two blocks are connected in cascade. You can see, these two blocks are connected in cascade. So, it will be multiplied together. So, we can remove it from here and multiply it here. So, it will be 1 plus G1 Now, again, if we see this entire thing, it is again a classic negative feedback connection, okay. It is a classic negative feedback connection with the forward path gain as 1 plus G1 into G2, G3 by 1 plus G3 plus H1, G2. Let us denote it as g again let us denote this this block as g and this h2 as h so the overall transfer function okay the overall transfer function cs by rs will be g which means 1 plus g1 by g2 g3 1 plus g1 into g2 g3 by 1 plus g3 plus h1 g2 by 1 plus g into h and this h is h2 so you do this uh, thing solve it cancel out the common denominators and find out the overall transfer function okay here i have this denoted this g for this entire forward path block and h for this feedback block so the overall transfer function will be g by 1 plus g into h okay so here we have again reduced this complicated block diagram into a simple form and calculated the overall transfer function okay so this is the third question related to block diagram reduction that we have solved and i think we'll solve some more questions to clear our concepts related to block diagram reduction as it is a very important part related to control systems so I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.